Philly Streets Talk present Grind Don't Stop In House Interview. I am your host, Variety the Analyzer, here with a guest. State your name. You already know it's your boy Bino Rides. I'm here with Variety the Analyzer, man. Shout out Grind Don't Stop, Philly Streets Talk, me in the building. That's right, I'm about to get into these questions. Yeah. How many years you been doing music? I've been doing music since I was 16, so I would say about six years. I'm 22 now, and I'm still going strong. We're going no breaks. Okay, okay. What inspires you to do music? You know, I believe there's a message that, you know what I'm saying, that youth need to hear and it's not being portrayed by a lot of the music that's being put out there right now. So, basically, I'm trying to deliver that message for that motivational message that some people need to hear. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, you have any music out now? Actually, I got a lot of music out right now. A lot of music that's going to be featured on my next coming CD, The, the yeah. Field. A lot of videos on YouTube. That, that's the name of the, uh, uh, of the CD? Yeah, the, my, um, okay. the, the EP is going, it's going to be a CD that everybody is going to have access to. Hard copy, digital copy, on you know, that pip. So, this is, this is something that people could have for the time being until I work on something real. Something that's going to blow everybody away, basically. Okay, okay. Do you, um, do, do you associate with your fans? Yes, I do. I try to associate with my fans on a hundred percent basis. Try to get at them at any any type of feedback. I accept all type of feedback with my music. I try to, you know, ask people what's working, what's not working. You know, I'm always going to be me, but it's always going to help to get the, the extra ear, the extra yeah, opinion. Yeah, so yeah, because it helps. All that helps at the end of the day. It so, helps. So I start. I try to um, stick with the supporters as much as possible. Okay. Um. Have you ever done shows? I've done a lot. I've done a lot of shows. Do you like to do shows? I love to do shows. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's that's good. Doing doing shows is probably the most. It's probably one of the most pleasurable things about this music stuff. Like again, yeah. again, the reactions of certain people as soon as the as soon as the beat drop, as soon as they hear some of your lyrics, and some of the reactions on people's faces. It's like you know what I'm saying it's a good feeling. So I like doing shows. Like, you know what I'm saying ever since. 2013 started. I've been going hard, trying to stay relevant, trying to do shows like every many day. Many shows you've done. At least, at least 20. I would say at least and 20. It's just starting this year. Yeah, just starting. Start. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying to go hard. That's for some. What kind of music you do? If it was, if it was one word, one general word to label my music, I would like to say motivational. Um, son, that's going okay. You know what Something I'm saying? different. I try, yeah. I try to keep it. Uh, you know, I try to keep it. You know, relevant. Um, Try to keep it fun for people. Some people want that fun stuff. Some people want that real stuff that give you chills and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Any direction I take it, at the end, is going to be a positive message. At the end of it, okay. Help you right. keep going. Yeah. Um. Who Who would you like to do a collab with? It doesn't matter industry or underground. Just give me two. Um. <laughs> it, one of the, somebody I would like to collab with uh, would be Crooked Eye from Slaughterhouse. Okay. And um. One of my uh, musical inspirations you know, would be cannabis. Uh, you know, I feel like um, mm -hmm. his music kind of inspired me a lot. So it would it would have to be out of those two. Yeah, that's good, man. Um, what makes you different from another artist? Well, it's a, I like to bring a couple different things to the table. Like I try to make music that everybody can listen to from all type of ethnicities, all type of social class, and the stuff that you, you, you know, everybody's gonna, nobody's gonna be offended by it. Anybody can listen to it. Everybody can understand the lyrics. You know, everybody can vibe out to the to the music. Right? Okay, and that's good, dog. You know, everybody get to vibe to everything that you do because you're an all around artist. Okay. Um, what would you say to another artist that's in the same category and doing like the same thing you do? Um, the most in, the most important part I would tell them is to stay consistent and never stop. Don't don't let any project, anything that you that you accomplish make get, make you feel like you could take a break. Cause mm -hmm. you can never take a break. Even if you make it to a certain goal, you got to keep going. Like don't get discouraged by any negativity. You gonna get negative feedback. People see you working, they gonna. If they not working, they gonna feel negative yeah, towards yeah, you, yeah. and they, so you they just might. Gotta keep going. You just gotta keep going. Go no breaks. Don't stop. Okay. Um. Last question. What would be the most inspiring thing you would say to our kids nowadays? What message do you have for our kids? Um. When it boils down to it, I would say, I would say, yeah, younger cats. They need to. They need to stick to their education right now. Basically. 
You know, they always gotta, you know, whatever they aspire to do, they gotta just stick to it. You know what I'm saying, try to focus on handling business early in the game. So like, you know, when you when it's time for you to be an adult, it's time for you to handle business. It's like the foundation is already kind of there for you already. Cause you worrying about doing other stuff that's going to get seek up, get other people's attention. Mm-hmm. You know, it may, it may not be beneficial. It may be beneficial on a social level, but you know, in the long run, there's going to be a time when you got to handle business. It's not about having fun no more. And all the fun has been. You had all the fun, but you ain't handle business now. All the, it's going to hit you even harder in the future when you become an adult. Okay, you hearing it right here for the streets talk. You already know Brian don't stop in her center view. I am your host, Variety the Analyzer, here with. You know, rides, no brakes. Yo.